it's day four of the ultimate creativity challenge and we're gonna randomly generate our theme for today which is a regal earth elemental in the color yellow and the way we randomly generate this is i just use google random generator number thing and i just click on the number and it randomly generates a number and whatever it lands on is the theme that i choose and if it's a number that I've already chosen, then I skip it and keep rolling until I get something new. When I think of Regal, I immediately jump to royalty. Like, I just want to draw something royal and earth elemental. Oh, I think of a forest nymph. So today I'm drawing a queen forest nymph. And she's going to be just looking down on her, her subjects, like all bored like oh you made a special request okay that's cool what do you want to know i love the concept for her hair i started drawing just these vines to be part of her hair and i like how it looked in my sketch and i kind of change it up for the when i do the line art and i give her um just like jungle vines like almost like tarzan type of jungle vines for her hair when i draw her hands I, I feel a little bit more proud of these hands because they're um, a lot better than what I am trying to do before. I didn't use a reference for these hands this time. And I guess the problem with them is when I actually do the line art, they don't turn out as good as when I drew the sketch. And that's okay. Uh, practice makes perfect. And as long as I know what I did wrong with my hands, then I can... Just keep going until it's better. And with these hands, I know that um, they just look a little funny, especially the one leaning on her hand. And once I figure out what that is, what exactly makes it look funny, then I know I can change that. As far as her costume design goes, um, that is another thing I need to work on. And I have found that I have become more creative when it comes to her costume design or costume design for my characters in general. But this is one of my first attempts at coming up with my own costume. And as you can see, it's kind of plain. I gave her thorns for her shoulders. And then I drew just this skin-tight layer. And for a forest nymph, they're, they aren't usually drawn with clothes anyway. But I don't really like to leave my characters naked. So <laughs> that coming from the person who just drew a naked mermaid. But okay. Um... I, I do prefer to give my characters some type of coverage and I don't know I guess the simple basic costume works for this queen forest nymph. Here I decided to try out a new shading technique that my husband introduced me to and a shading technique that I've seen other people try on their drawings and so what I'm doing is I'm just coloring the whole thing gray and then I add in just highlights and shadows from there. And after that, I'll just put the color layer on top and use Multiply because I'm using Photoshop as the program I use to draw. So once I use Multiply, then the colors will be there and the shading and the highlight will automatically be on top. And that ended up being a shading style that I love, but I plan to explore um, more ways to do things while I do this challenge. I also blurred the edges. So right now you see the shading and highlights are sharp edges and I try and blur it and make it look more soft shadows. And I do like that, but I think I like the harder shadows in the long run. So I'm going to be using harder shadows in my future drawing as I discover what my style is. And it's funny because I showed the finished drawing to a co-worker of mine and she said she loves my style. And I wish I had a better response to her because at the time I was like, oh, it's not really that great. I don't really have a style. And it's true, I don't have a style right now, but that's okay. It's okay not to have a style as you learn and grow. And I should have just taken the comment though. So thank you, coworker friend, who if you're watching this and you know who I'm talking about, thank you for the compliment. I mean, I did draw, I did come up with it, so I guess it is my style, but it's just not 
what I'm going to use repetitively in other drawings. I know the theme was yellow and as you can see in the color palette that I had created for myself, I did choose yellow colors, but once I put it on top of the shading layer, it just it turned out looking more green than anything else and in the end I like the green tones for the image itself, but I know it kind of, so I don't know, I guess maybe this challenge is a little bit of fail because I used green more than yellow, even though I did use yellow colors, so I'm not counting it as a complete fail. Um, when you do the eyes, try to use like not exactly white for the whites of the eyes, and that way when you put the highlight in, it can be over the rest of the eyes, so it's slightly not white for the eye white, and then you can have a highlight. When I did her eyelashes, I, I worked so hard on these eyelashes and I tried over and over again to get an eyelash look that I liked and I tried different brushes and I was just, I finally came up with something I liked and then when I zoomed out, the eyes looked so weird and I thought it was the eyebrows, so I went through a lot of trouble changing the eyebrows, testing the colors and shapes and I was happy with the eyebrows but it still wasn't looking quite right to me, so... I actually ended up discovering what the problem was after I finished the drawing and I didn't care to fix it, but the eyes are different sizes. The eyes themselves are disproportionate and once you see it, you can't unsee it. So maybe I will go back and fix it later, but not right now. I like throwing in these extra little viney, crunchy thingies. It gives her hair more um, texture. And then I added roses into the drawing as parts of her viney hair. And I don't know, I guess... I didn't really notice the roses very well in the finished drawing when I zoom out and that's that's okay because I know they're there and I like them I like the detail anyway gotta sign it off and this is the drawing for day four my regal earth elemental in yellow anyway thanks for watching and if you like this picture and you want to look at it more just head on over to my Facebook if you want to do this challenge yourself I have the link in the description for the 30-day challenge anyway thank you and have a great day. I'll see you guys tomorrow.